Hey guys, it's Julia with Como. And if you're like me, you're like many of the people around the world who are stuck working at home and trying to figure out the best way to do uh, normal practices that you could do in your office. Um, and I want to show you one product from Como that can make that a little bit easier. So this is our QPC 20. It is a USB document camera. It comes out of the box like this. And to flip it up, you just do that. Um, in this video, we'll show you a couple different processes. Number one, how to set it up, um, how to do screen capture, and then also how to record. Um, so right out of the box, you have your camera here and the USB cord. So to set it up, you just plug this into the back and plug the USB into your computer, and you're done. Super easy to set up, plug and play, ready to go right away. Okay, now that we have our document camera plugged in and ready to go, I'll show you how to use it using Como's Q Camera software. So the first thing we're going to do is go down to this little camera icon here and select our camera. The QPC20 is listed as the DY-AF camera. We'll set our resolution to the highest one possible and click connect. And here we go. So our image isn't quite right, so first thing I'm going to show you is the rotation tool. So that's going to be right here. Click that once for a 90 degree rotation. And now I can show you the rest of the functions of Q camera. So the first one is going to be the pen function here. We have the option between a pencil and a highlighter. The pencil just allows you to draw on the screen and the highlighter will be transparent. So you're able to highlight things. Uh, we also have the shape function, so you're able to do squares, circles, if you want to be super precise. And once we draw a shape, we can use this tool under the cursor here to move it around to make sure that's perfectly centered. Uh, we have our eraser tool here, so you can either do a spot erase like this, or you can use this brush brush function to clear the entire screen. Some additional tools would be the text box here. So if we select that and click in the screen, we can begin typing anything. You can easily change that just like you would in Microsoft Word or any other program that you're already used to. Just very basic text box functions. We also have the timestamp here, which will put a little recording of what we're doing. You can also click that again to remove it. We have our zoom here, pretty self-explanatory. And there's also this little function that pops up once you start zooming that will just restore the image to how it was when you first opened the camera. So here we go, we have to rotate it again. And we have our freeze function here that allows you to freeze the image. So that will stay on the screen. I'm moving the document now and you wouldn't know because I've got that freeze function on. So the second that I click that again, it's gonna show you the changes that happened. <clears throat> uh, we also have some brightness and contrast uh, settings and as well as a focus. So if you need to just refocus real fast, but if you just, it auto focuses automatically so there's not really a whole lot of need for that, and back to our rotate function. Okay, now that we've gone over the basic functions of Q Camera, the first thing I'll show you is how to capture an image. So let's say we have our document up, we've zoomed in, we want to highlight something important for people to remember. And then we want to capture this image to share it with the group. We're going to go to this camera option here and just do webcam capture. And there you go. It's saved to the computer, ready to be shared via email or any cloud-based systems that you're already using. Second thing we want to show you is how to uh, record a presentation. So. Let me just get this centered real fast. So now what we'll do is click on that camera again and go to video recorder. 
So now that we're on the video recorder, we can record ourselves doing anything that we might want to. So let's say that I checked that off, checked that off, still need to do that, definitely need to do that, and of course, the most important. So once you've recorded your presentation, you can just click on the little X here. This gives you the option to name your file. You can select where in the computer that you'd like it to be stored. I'm fine with the default folder. You can also instantly publish this to Facebook or YouTube. So we'll just click save and we're all done. It's been saved to the computer. And there we go. That's everything you need to know to set up and use the QPC 20. Hope this makes working from home a little bit easier for you guys. Stay safe.